Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I've had tons of requests to do a video on the kick serve. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three simple tips that can help you to either improve your kick serve or to start to develop one. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a simple exercise that you can take out onto court next time you practice to make your kick serve better. So let's get into it. So before we get into the tips, let's talk about what a kick serve is and why you would hit one. A kick serve is effectively a topspin serve. It's a serve that travels with a bit more of an arc shape over the net as opposed to having a very linear flat trajectory. The benefit of hitting a kick serve or a topspin serve is you can hit the ball a lot higher over the net without the risk of it going long as the spin is bringing the ball back down into play. Another benefit of hitting a kick serve is the ball actually bounces higher. So if you get really good at it, it can push your opponent into an awkward position up high on their return. Players that have really mastered the kick serve can actually get a little bit of lateral movement on the ball as well, which we'll mention in the tips. If the kick serve is new to you or you're not that experienced with it, it's worth focusing more on getting that arced trajectory before you think of any lateral movement. Mechanically, most parts of the kick serve are very similar to your normal flat serve or your slice serve. These three tips are gonna talk through some of the differences that you may need to consider. So tip number one is to think about using a slightly different grip to your normal serve. Now hopefully on your flat and your slice serve you're using the chopper grip or the continental grip. Now something that I do when I'm hitting my kick serve is I move my grip ever so slightly around towards an eastern backhand grip. Now an eastern backhand grip is when you have your knuckle on the flat bevel, bevel number one here. Now I'm not saying that you should go all the way around to eastern backhand, but somewhere in between your chopper grip and the eastern backhand grip can allow you to get more spin on the ball, whether that be your kick serve or your slice serve. By adjusting your grip ever so slightly, it's going to allow you to drive up to the ball with the edge of the racket, helping you to get more spin on the ball than you would with a traditional chopper grip. So to get the most out of tip number two, you need to understand the swing path that we're looking for for the kick serve. Now, rather than hitting through the back of the ball as you would for a flat serve, or coming around the outside of the ball as you would for a slice serve, a kick serve is more of a low to high swing path. You can almost imagine how you would hit your top spin backhand. You can see how my racket head is moving up the back of the ball here. This would be the same for a kick serve. To allow the ball to have lots of top spin and for it to have a nice arc shape over the net, we need that racket accelerating up the back of the ball. If you want some lateral movement, as I mentioned before, your racket would move more from left to right as we're driving up the back of the ball. So to hit a pure top spin serve, you can picture the ball as a clock and you want to be hitting the ball from six o'clock up to 12 o'clock for pure top spin. If you're looking for that lateral movement, you would actually swing through the ball from eight o'clock to two o'clock. This will create that arc shape with a little bit more kick out of the court. So now that we know that we need a different swing path for the kick serve, we need to consider adjusting our ball toss ever so slightly. And for tip number two, I'm gonna move over to a different position to show you how that ball toss will differ. So generally for your normal flat serve, you'd want your ball toss to be out in front of your body. This allows you to drive your body forwards into the court to get good body weight transfer, but also to allow your racket to fully pronate and to create that flat contact point. However, for a kick serve, we know that we want more energy going up the back of the ball to create the top spin. So instead of throwing the ball out into the court here, we're gonna see if we could throw the ball straight up. If you can get the ball straight above your head, it's going to give you maximum potential for you to use your legs to drive up the back of the ball creating that spin. As I mentioned before if you wanted to get a little bit more lateral movement you could even consider throwing the ball slightly more to your left. This will allow you to get that arc shape through here. However the problem with this is it can give your opponent signals. If they see you throw the ball slightly to the left they're going to know you're going to hit a kick serve and can prepare for that. The final tip links in with the ball toss on tip number two. However, it's more about where you should be contacting the ball. Now, if you were hitting a flat serve, ideally your contact point needs to be as high as physically possible. You'll really be driving up to the ball and making contact with full extension. The reason why we want to contact the ball really high on a flat serve is we want maximum leverage and we want maximum height over the net so that we can hit with a flat trajectory. But as we know on a kick serve, we want that trajectory to be more up and down. And to get this, we actually want to make contact with the ball lower. If you can make contact with the ball slightly lower than you would for your flat serve, then your racket still has room to accelerate upwards 
after contact. This is gonna help you to maximize the top spin on the ball and again, give you that good net clearance. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either throw the ball slightly lower or you can let the ball drop. Give both a try to figure out which works best for your timing of your serve, but ensure that you do contact the ball lower to give yourself the opportunity to carry on past contact. So before I show you this next exercise, let's just quickly summarize through the three tips. So number one, think about moving your grip ever so slightly round more towards an Eastern backhand grip. This can help you to get a lot more spin on your serve. Number two is try to think about bringing your ball toss closer in towards you as opposed to being out in front of your body. By throwing the ball more directly above your head, it's going to allow you to drive more upwards rather than forwards. If you want to play around with trying to get a little bit more outward kick with your serve, you can consider throwing the ball slightly more to the left to get that left to right swing path. And the final tip is to make contact with your serve slightly lower than you normally would. This will allow you to get more upward drive, again, creating more spin. So as promised, I've got a little exercise that can help you to develop your kick serve even further for you to get more of an arc shape over the net, creating a better margin for error. And all you need is a spare racket. What you're gonna do is you're going to put your racket about a meter from the center strap on the net. You're gonna thread it through one of the holes in the net and again, one more underneath. And what you've got here is a target to try to hit your kick serve over. You can also do this by tying some string to the floodlights in between. What you need is to try to create something to aim over the top of. This is gonna give you more arc shape over the net. You can also use this method to practice your flat serve. Your flat serve, you're going to want to hit the target with and your kick serve, you want to hit over the top. So next time you're on the tennis court practicing your serves, get your second racket out, pop it in the net like this and give it a go. So there are quite a few different exercises that you can do for the kick serve. So I'm thinking about making a few more videos. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer a video showing you some different kick serve exercises, if you'd like some more tips and whether you're new to the kick serve or if you're an advanced player wanting to develop it further. Thanks as always for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that like button and let me know what you thought. Take care. I'll see you next week.